So last night, the Los Angeles Clippers got a pretty impressive win over the LA Lakers, as even though the Lakers were playing the second half of a back-to-back -back and took part in an overtime thriller less than 24 hours prior, the Lakers had won seven of their last eight games entering last night, and they probably still are the hottest team in the NBA. However, today I want to talk about why teams need to watch out for the Clippers, as they can very well win the Western Conference. However, there's just one issue standing in their way. Also, if you guys enjoy the video, then make sure to give it a like as it helps out a lot. And if you enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So as I said before, last night the Clippers beat the Lakers in one of their battles of LA as the Clippers knocked off the Lakers by a score of 125 to 118. Also, like I spoke on earlier, the Lakers had won seven of their past eight games entering last night and were playing a back-to-back. -back. However, I don't think we should be making excuses for this Clippers team's win as Paul George has been out of the lineup for the Clippers in the last seven games. However, they've still managed to do what's necessary to keep themselves afloat in the Western Conference standings as they now hold on to the fifth seed in the Western Conference after last night's win. Beyond Paul George being out of the lineup for over two weeks now, we also have to go back two weeks to find the last time that the Clippers have had the same starting lineup in back-to-back -back games as the Clippers game against the OKC Thunder on March 23rd and their game against the New Orleans Pelicans on March 25th were the last time that they sent out the same lineup in two straight games. That lineup would be Leonard, Westbrook, Gordon, Morris, and Zubats, and that lineup hasn't fared too well for them, as they've played with shooting splits of 46% from the field, 26% from three, and 76% from the free throw line, to go along with an inefficient plus-minus rating of negative 5.5, so not good whatsoever. However, the starting five that the Clippers sent out last night has been pretty damn good as the lineup of Westbrook, Gordon, Batum, Leonard, and Zubats has yielded the Clippers a plus-minus rating of plus 12. That efficiency rating gives them the ninth best rating of any five-man lineup that's played together this entire NBA season. And they're also the only team in the top 10 to play three games together, as well as one of only three lineups to play more than one game together. The Clippers lineup of Wall, George, Zubats, Morris, and Jackson is one of those three lineups as well. And while that lineup is no longer possible with Wall and Jackson no longer on the Clippers, the other lineup of the three to play more than one game together is the Sixers lineup of Harris, Embiid, Melton, Milton, and Thibel. And that lineup is no longer possible also with Thibel getting traded to Portland back at the trade deadline. So while the Clippers, of course, would love to get George back in their lineup as soon as possible, it's safe to say they should be all right for the time being, as long as they can stay healthy enough to put that five-man group on the floor together. It's also important for me to note that that Clippers lineup without George has put up an insane 47.7 points per game, good enough for the seventh most of any lineup in the NBA this season, while also being tied for the shortest amount of time played together per game of any top 10 team in points per game in the league this season, which is insane to see. The Clippers have also done this while putting up shooting splits of 59% from the field and incredible 50% from three-point range. And while their free throw shooting could be better as they've shot it at 60% from the line, they're pretty damn efficient everywhere else. And you got to just hope that their free throw shooting won't be a problem for them going forward. However, when George does come back, it might be possible to say that this Clippers lineup will somehow play better and even more efficient. That's right. While Westbrook, George, and Leonard have only gotten 20 minutes on the floor together, they have gathered a net rating of 33.33, which is incredible to see. And if we look at that lineup of Westbrook, Leonard, Zubats, and George, they have played 131 minutes together and have an insane 15.22 net rating, which is a huge deal. Westbrook, Leonard, and George have shot 67.8% from inside the three-point line and exactly 50% from beyond the three-point line while holding their opponents to shooting splits of 58% and 25% shooting. So proving their perimeter defense is elite when on the floor together. And the lineup of Westbrook, Leonard, Zubats, and George have shot 52.7 and 37% while holding their opponents to 44 and 32% shooting splits. So while most people have their money on the Lakers, Suns, Nuggets, or Warriors to win the West, I think those four teams need to make sure they don't sleep on this LA Clippers team. 
So yeah, if those numbers and splits don't show you that this Clippers team is extremely scary and potent, then I'm not too sure what will. The West feels pretty wide open this year, and I truly believe the Clippers have what it takes to win. However, health is going to be the biggest question mark for this Clippers team, as as of right now, they'd face the Phoenix Suns in the first round, and I think they'd want to make sure Paul George is back for that series, as I already showed in my last video why the Suns are so scary, and a Clippers team that has potential to win a championship might end up getting bounced in the first round if luck and health aren't on their side in that matchup. All in all though, I want to know what you guys think about this Clippers team, their chances in the 2023 NBA playoffs, or anything we talked about in the video or having to do with the LA Clippers down below in the comment section. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you like the video though, then please give it a like as it helps out a lot. And if you like the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all the future content on my channel. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm SCJ and I am out. Peace.